Hi, this is Bino. Today I wanted to talk about a tool that every tree climber and arborist has probably on their truck. It's a good tool to estimate um, the distance or how tall a tree is or the distance of a felling tree. Okay, so uh, the tool that I was talking about is actually a handle or a stick. Um, could be on a rake or a shovel and even a measuring wheel. What this tool will help me do, it'll help me approximate a height of a tree or it'll help me um, approximate a distance of a tree that I'm gonna fell. Uh, so the way it works is that it, it has to do with your body height and your arm length. So anybody can do it, any size. The length of it will differ per person. So if I'm a taller person, I have longer arms, I'll have to figure out my length and, and measurements. And I'll show you how I'll do it. So what you wanna do is basically you'll put your arm out You'll get the handle or stick or whatever it might be. You'll put, put it to your hand and you're gonna tilt it till it touches your eye, okay? At the point where it touches your eye, that's the length that you want. So this length here will be different on somebody who's tall and different if it's somebody short. So it's not always gonna be the same length. So the way it works is that once I measure that length, I'll look down my hand toward the, the base of a tree, and I'll look to the top of a tree. Now, I'm gonna have to figure it out. So when once I get the length, then I'll either have to walk toward the tree or back away from the tree. So let me see, I'll, I'll line it up. So I'll start here. Now I could see, I, I could see the base, but the top is way off. So I'll start moving forward. Okay, so I'm about, what I'm doing is I'm eyeing here and I'm gonna to look to see if the top reaches. I'll keep my arm straight, no bent arms. So I think I'll need to step back just a little bit. Make another step back. Okay, so now I'm looking straight down and straight up. And that's, that's right inside of that, uh, the bottom of the stick and the top of the stick. So I, that's gonna give me about where um, the distance from the tree. So to, to see if, my approximation and, and measurement, I got this wheel, I'll zero it out, <clears throat> and I'll go straight toward the tree. Now, once I get to the tree here, that should be the approximate height of the tree. And so the approximate height is 31 feet. Now, if I was gonna be felling the tree, I don't need to measure it. All I would have to do is line it up and then just get those uh, dimensions where I put them, um, mark where I'm standing, and the tree should fall inside of that zone. Okay, so um, another thing about this technique is that it's an approximation. If you're looking for height, um, it is only approximation, not a complete definite. Um, usually it's on the greater scale. So if it was a 10 foot tree, it might be like 10 and a half feet or 11. Um, something to think about is that like for me, where I inspect, a lot of times it's at a curb line. So usually I got to measure up to a curb, so I got to account for that. I would take maybe a few feet off of that, and um, so that's something that can mess me up. Also, if you're in an area and it's kind of hilly and you got trees that are like up on a mound, well, that'll change it. Um, it may work if you're on a complete grade. So if you're in the same plane as a tree, then it, it may be a pretty good tool to use too. Um, usually it's on the greater scale. So whatever you measure, it's a little bit further away. If you're gonna say fell a tree, what you measure, it would be outside where you're standing. And like I said, for the approximation, it's a little bit greater in um, number. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this tree right here, just get a, a measure of the height of it. It's a real huge tree. If I was doing an inspection, I had to do a report it'd be kind of hard just to eye it and figure out what it is. So this tree has a pretty wide canopy. So I'm not gonna to try to get the branches that are growing toward me. I'll have to go to the center of the tree and I'll go up to the center and try to get to the center branches. So that's where I'll make my point. And then I'm gonna walk up probably to the um, front part of the tree. On the last one, I was a little bit like a foot shy. So um, what I'll do is I'll try to go right to where um, it lines up with the wheel. So uh, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my, my stick and I'm going to do the same thing. I'll put up my arm out straight. Then I'm going to tilt the stick back and I'm going to line it up with my eye. And I'm going to flip it up and that's going to be my line. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to line it up to the trunk of the tree and then I'm going to walk forward till I find the center of the tree. Because it's got wide branching, I don't want the ones that are closer to me. I want to try to find the center of the tree. So I would say this is about it right here. So the next thing I'll do is I'll measure it. Okay, so now I've zeroed my, my wheel out. I'm gonna to step to one side, and as I go to the tree, I'm gonna go off to one side because the trunk flare is pretty, pretty uh, wide. So what I'm gonna do is be off to one side so I can get closer to the side of the trunk. And when I get there, we'll see about how tall this tree is. And usually, it is a little bit greater in number, so um, it's just an approximation. But if I was fouling it, probably right here. So I came up with 99 feet. Okay, so we just went over on how to approximate a height by using just a stick um, with a certain length, how you figure it, how to measure it out, and also to approximate if you're going to do a felling to a tree. So you know, if there's something important that you don't want to hit, um, you feel more confident about measuring it out, this method would work great for that. Always bear in mind that there's things that can um, make it offset, like curb lines, a hill, um, maybe different mounding up that can um, change um, the, the distance. So that was uh, how to approximate the height of a tree using a stick and also to um, get the distance if you're felling a tree. Really cool trick to have in your toolbox. It's, it's served me well for at least 20 years or so. Um, I have an Instagram, Bino H. Kleinman. Check it out. I post videos of uh, contractors working in trees, trimming, felling, rigging. Also, uh, my, my crew when they're working or anything that I find interesting about trees. Um, comment, like, and subscribe. Take care.